quick 10 minute stretch video number one. Here we go. All right, stand, feet hip width apart. Bring it all the way up, deep breath in. Send it over, reach for the toes. Bring it up. Send it over, reach for the toes. Each time, trying to get a little bit lower in that stretch and closer to the toes, closer to the carpet or the mat with your fingertips. Once you've hit between eight and 10 of these, bring it up, shake it out. Now we're gonna start with a little bit of squats and kind of heat up the legs. So I'm gonna drop it back like you're sitting in a chair and up, back and up. Weights in the heels and then push through the hamstrings to bring back up. We'll feel it through the quads as well. I like to heat everything up so that it stretches a little bit easier when you go to do the stretch. Once you hit about eight to 10 of those, we're gonna go side lunge. So now one leg bends, one stays straight, take it over. One bends, one straight, take it over. Each time, trying to get a bit, little bit longer through that lat and through the side body while still sinking in and pushing back off the side leg. And then switch sides. Reach. You might feel a few things snap, crackle, or pop. It's okay. <laughs> Just stretching it out. This should feel good. So you don't have to max it out to a place where it feels painful, just feeling good is what we want. All right, now open up the shoulders by windmilling, windmilling forward, about eight to 10 strokes forward, and then eight to 10 strokes backwards. Really opening up those shoulders, opening up the chest. Another great shoulder mobility. Thumbs point down, knuckles towards the temples, and then you're just gonna take your elbows in and open them up. Take them in, open them up. Stretching through the back here opening up the chest when the arms go back. Eight to 10. Perfect. Now we're gonna do standing hip openers. So you're gonna take one leg open around. If you wanna grab onto like a little side table for this, you absolutely can. We're just gonna alternate legs. So when one goes around, bring it down, feeling this through the hip flexors and the side of the hips as well. Open, so from the side, looks like that. Just moving through it, you don't have to hold it up there. This should just feel, you might feel a couple pops. <laughs> should just feel good to get them opened up. And the more and more limber you get as we go through this throughout the weeks, the higher you'll be able to get that leg and even the more open you'll be able to get that leg. Boom, just like that. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> All right, this next one, you're gonna step back into a lunge, back leg straight, front leg bent, and you're just gonna reach across the body. So from the front, it looks like this. Step back, reach across, getting a little twist, and then back together, then switch. Leg goes back, twist the other side, 
back together. Back, twist, back together, back, twist. From this angle, in the side view, looks like this, straight leg and twist. You can feel this in the back of the leg, through the hamstring, and even through the calf. If you're really pushing that heel down, you'll feel a calf stretch through the back of the leg. Boom, and then switch. A lot of tightness can come just from having really short calf muscles. They've shortened over time, they're real tight, which can lead to a lot of like plantar fasciitis, heel spurs, any kind of lower foot pain or bottom foot pain can come from calf tightness. So super important to stretch those out. Next one we're gonna do, we'll also stretch out the calves. So you're gonna bring it to the ground, all fours, and you're gonna push the heels down as you bring the knees up into like a triangle position. So you can now pedal the feet one at a time, pushing one heel down while the other one bends and lifts up, switching each side, feeling that stretch through the calf. And then if you straighten both legs at once, you'll feel the stretch through the back of the legs. In yoga, they call it a down dog, so you might hear that phrase. And just hold, and you can keep moving through this too if that feels good. You can keep pedaling a few feet, and then push back again with both legs straight, pedal a few times, just keep moving through it as it feels okay. Now bring your knees to the ground, and this one's just called a bear, like a waking bear. So you're just gonna rotate around anything that feels good. You can arch the spine, roll it up like a cat on Halloween, or you can kind of let it dip like a cow. So they call this cat, and this is called cow. And that really helps to open up our spine and then you can move through bear, sitting back on the heels, rotating through, rolling the head out, rolling the neck. Just spend about a minute here doing anything that feels good through that movement. And at first, none of it may feel good, but as you get more and more limber, you do this more, it's gonna start feeling better and better, opening up the spine opening up the shoulders, and getting that movement through. Now you're just gonna take your whole body and you're gonna try and sit back on those heels. We call this child's pose. So you sink back, arms out, head goes down, and you're looking between your legs. If you can only get to right here, that's fine. We'll just keep working on that knee flexibility and you can just sink into it till you feel the pressure and then come out of it. Sink into it till you feel the pressure and come out of it. And eventually we'll get the flexibility down to where you can sit back on those heels. One thing that helps to get back is by putting the toes closer together and the knees out. So from the front, it kind of looks like this as opposed to, this can be a little bit harder to keep your knees together, but try both. See what your hips allow for, both directions. Both are great. So, you sink into it. Now you're gonna walk your hands over to one side with your head still down, and you'll feel a stretch through your lat, through your shoulders, as you hold on this side. And then you'll walk across to the other side and do the same thing over here. And I say just keep walking back and forth to get that stretch on both sides, to get the body still heating up, feeling good and limber. And if you can only do it from here, that's okay too. On your knees, take both positions, no problem. <laughs> All right, 
Next one's the favorite. Laying on our back, we're gonna take one leg up to the chest and then switch it. Other leg up to the chest. Each time that you switch, try and bring that knee closer into the chest. And you can almost bring it to the side of the body too. That way it gets the chest and the stomach out of the way as you bring that knee in. So I kind of pull mine off to the side slightly over towards my ribs. Go for about 10 of these, just loosening it up. Now you're gonna take one leg and you're gonna twist all the way over and then switch. Take one leg, twist the opposite direction and head faces the opposite of where the knee just went. So you're never looking at your knee. So when I take this one over this way, my head's gonna turn back here. And go back and forth. And you can hold some of these a little bit longer if you're feeling a really good stretch in that area. Go ahead and hold it till that release happens. If release isn't happening, try and breathe a couple of deep breaths into that space that's really tight. And you'll start to feel it release a little bit. Or you might not yet, and <laughs> it might take a couple weeks, but we'll get there. Keep switching. Good, now, sitting up, we're gonna go butterfly. So from the side, it looks like this. Knees out to the side, bottoms of the feet together. And you're just gonna work on pulling those feet in towards the body. Really, that's gonna be enough of a stretch for right now. If you want to intensify it at all, you can kind of give a little push onto each knee. Just working on stretching out those hips. The other thing that can really help stretch them out having the bottoms of the feet together and kind of leaning forward towards the feet. You'll feel an intense pressure through the front of the hips, kind of the groin area too. And you can just sink into it and then bring it back out and then sink into it and release. Each time trying to get a little bit deeper into that stretch. Such a good one. Perfect. Okay, for the last one, I just wanna work on getting up and off the ground. So, you can just practice and start with a table next to you, start with something next to you. We'll go from that seated position up to all fours. And then from here, we'll go one leg, boom. And if you have a hand down, that's fine. You can put some pressure into this stabilizing knee to then push up from there. That would be reminiscent of having a table there, but you're the table, you're the stability. So push and up and you're good. So practice it a couple times from either seated position, rolling to all fours, one leg up. If you need the table, go for it for the first couple times. And then we'll just get to a point where you don't need the table anymore. And you can get up and down without help, without a table, without assistance. You start feeling good. All right. I can't wait for the next one.